Good evening, everyone. We have with us today Lieutenant Colonel Tapush Munjal. He is in uh, ex NDA, served with the Corps of uh, EME for 22 years. And while he was there uh, on a posting to Delhi, he did a full time MBA from the prestigious Faculty of Management Studies, Delhi University, through an uh, executive program. Further, and then he went on and he also did his DGR course from the IM Lucknow and he continued networking in the consulting. As of today, he works with KPMG, which is another very prestigious firm. It's one of the big four consulting firms and he's an associate director there, heading the portfolio for aerospace and defense, wherein he advises clients who are defense PSUs, oblique private sector players in the uh, defense companies. He's also a uh, uh, visiting faculty to National Institute of Financial Management, uh, Faridabad. And today he would be helping us understand the, the transformation journey he did while transitioning from uniform to uh, where he is today in the consulting space. Tapos, go ahead, please. Thank you. Um, and uh, everybody has logged on to this uh, website called menti.com. M-E-N-T-I, menti.com. And once you are there, I'm putting a a code into the group chat so just put in that chat and uh, it's a very small uh, kind of a, a survey to understand how we are on the how we are here in the class the code is one triple two double nine one zero putting it on the chat as well one triple two double nine one zero yeah one triple two double one nine zero. Thank you, Vipul, for adding putting that number on the chat ID. Log on to menti.com, and once we are there, you would see a survey being launched. It is just to understand how we are in the class, uh, just for my understanding and for Vipul's understanding also. Ki, um, that uh, where we stand as far as today's discussion, we've got about 100 odd audience. So, I yeah. So we got a lot of people from the army joined in 31 of us of you and then uh, uh, does it show the next question anybody yeah. so uh, they had about two odd questions it would have been given yeah the next one was your service bracket if you have less than 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 and let's see the figure program so we have a lot of people who are 15 to 20, 20 30, pool coming in, 20 30 being the highest. Yeah, so I know generally what the bracket is. Great. A lot of you have done, done the polling. I can see. Yeah, so understanding that we have got uh, 15, 20 bracket, which is uh, about 25 and 20 to 30, which is like 19 years. So we got a huge chunk, which is coming from the 15 to 30 uh, bracket, right? Um, right, moving on, there could be the next question which is coming in. Yeah, so what do you want to do of this transition consulting career? Am I qualified to take up consulting or you know, just like that? Joined in 19 to understand the consulting career. Am I qualified to take up the cold consulting just like that? Good, somebody is really honest. I like it. You know, this this small things which you start with the class actually gets uh, the ball rolling in the presentation, right? Done. Most of I think would have answered 35, 14, about 50 of you have answered. Right. We'll go ahead with the next, right? So this is what do you think is consulting? So just one word, whatever you want to say about it. Let me just see what people already know what is consulting, waiting for responses. It says one word, one response, advising, right? Somebody wrote advising and guiding, right? It's guidance, right? Why I have, I'm also part of this. I'm also responding. Problem solving, great. Uh, building guidance, strategy, advice. This is one thing which I wanted to share, but I think it's stressful, highly paid. Nice. Manage, solving challenges, negotiations, sharing expertise, stressful, uh, facilitate expert advice, right? Long hours, 
oh somebody will think we are long as over right put out this thing to rest to all your nerves once we start discussing on it right got a lot of good words about it 47 responses and we move on to the last yeah professions which are consulting based on you know, normal consulting with a with a consulting base the easiest i can think of since my childhood a consultant was my family what to never name the professions i am just writing one like astrologer maybe a doctor maybe an architect defense is not consulting right so right finance defense software strategic legal no idea data law location projects engineering finance cyber security construction education legal right so i'll end this i have got a fair understanding of what uh, the group would try to understand and we go on to uh, looking at the presentation which is right as you could correctly brought out is on a small of part of the transformation journey that uh, i undertook and uh, moved on to consulting as a career so understanding that uh, firstly a brief about myself uh, i'm lieutenant colonel tapos munjal as we could told i was commissioned into eme commissioned in year 2001 ex nda from 2001 to 2011 there were a lot of basic eme tenures field workshops of prakram happening and uh, one second yeah so a program happening and thereafter i went for an r tenure of course basic degree courses posted to uh, 2011 to 19 posted in eme center em battalion did my staff course went on to aqm in infantry division and uh, the last tenure when i took this call that it's time to now to move on was 2019 when i came to the fp directorate god was kind that it gave me an opportunity to be in the fp directorate which uh, possibly is the smallest directorate as far as the army headquarter is concerned but also happens to be one of the critical part which handles the finances and what to say in all your revenue and the capital expenditures capital planning and going on and that was a time when i was doing my executive mba from faculty of management is new delhi and uh, subsequently before i moved out i also did my resettlement course from i am lucknow uh, presently from i retired in on 31st december 2022 and from 9th of january i have been with kpmg now about an year plus and uh, i'm a associate director with them so as far as i am concerned i do um, consulting in aerospace and defense so how does it mean what does it translate what consulting always means will come up in the presentation as we go ahead right so moving on what do we have i'll start with a small one slider on some of the military skill sets that we essentially would carry when we go to the corporate world and second phase i would cover uh, the consulting career part 3 would be on um networking change behavior behavior management and finally we'll have the question and answer sessions i expect a lot of questions to be coming up so i would be finishing in a, by about 8:45 or so and thereafter we'll have about 45 minutes you know, from the huge list of questions which have already come to me and what i expect from the audience to come right so moving on as i feel the military skill set that we carry with us we have got a fair mix of army navy and air force officers in this session and uh, a similar session is transforming every about 2 to 3 months if we say uh, moving out officers on the basis of the number of resettlement courses that happen from the institute that we have and the institute which have just joined last year and uh, the expansion or diversification course would have happened we are looking at about 50 to 60 armed forces officers moving out from the uh, from the uniform moving out but yes whenever you move out what the uh, the audience is looking at us is on first of all leadership it is something which you find uh, once you move to corporate is really missing you know taking ownership of your product taking ownership of your team right second about decision making it's very difficult because people are pretty hesitant to take uh, decisions but yes based on our uh, um, 
uh, growing up or you know 10 15 years or 30, 20 years or 30 years in the forces decision making comes as a second nature to us working in a team and collaborating always good while uh, you'll find when you move out there would be a lot of uh, centric work to yourself center to your career and uh, the growth is equal to how you prove yourself individual contribution is more but still uh, managing a team or managing a big team becomes a challenge for a lot of people who are there at the senior level adaptability and resilience yeah adaptability means the change management changing on to leadership people have got really problems when they move on to uh, change management or move from one organization of one team to the other it's become difficult discipline discipline is one thing that i would come on to the career how our team functions time management we are great at that and I, at the end i would say ki these six seven parameters which i list leadership decision making adaptability and resilience teamwork and collaboration discipline time management let them stay with you i had a different slide uh, people uh, i have been talking to a lot of resettlement courses i have spoken to the fms course i spoke to the course as nifm this slide has been borrowed from there from that presentation so i always talk of one thing that we should not carry but i'm not including here because most of these we are already aware what should not carry with us when we move on to the corporate career right now coming to the core topic of the day the consulting world so who is a consultant i'll start with that a consultant could be anybody for whom the 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 core issue or the the basis of his earning his bread on daily basis is somebody who can give you an advice uh, someone who can let you understand your problem areas because you are day in and day out of an organization or a system which you don't understand what consulting is all about thank you so much for a very detailed and relevant presentation you gave us today i am grateful for your time and uh, the effort put in so all the audience they already have linkedin id for uh, tapush you can reach out to him connect with them and see one on one mentoring thank you so much tapush thank you vipul thank you for organizing and we look for your to your next networking event whenever it happens in delhi and we i just really suggest that we move out to other cities also now so uh, i think i uh, thank a lot of people who i know who are there Zakaria sir thank you very much